Hey guys, so in this tutorial, let's check out how to implement multiple list views in Flutter. For example, if you are working with some project where you want to show different sets of data and the user can interact with both the sets at once in the single screen itself. For example, you can see over here, I have just created a list view and I'm just showing all the fruits over here in the single page and user can interact with this. So now if I want to just divide and I want to show vegetables also in this, so I can just divide the screen into half and I can just show fruits at the top and uh, vegetables at the bottom okay so this is called uh, multiple list views on a single screen okay so let's understand how we can implement it in our flutter application so let's get started so let me explain you the code that i have wrote so i have just created a list of items by making use of list generator and i am just creating 100 items in it and i'm just storing fruit and index names for example you can see over here fruit 1 fruit 2 fruit 3 okay and then by making use of list view builder i am just showing all the items in a list format over here okay so now i want to just split this and make it two datas okay so what i will do i will just create another uh, data set and i will just name it as vegetable okay i can just name it veg okay and this is just a dummy data so i will just name it veg veg1 veg2 veg3 it will just get generated 100 items okay so now i want to just split the screen on the top i want to just show fruits and at the bottom i want to show vegetables okay so for this first of all i want to just wrap this uh, list view builder in a column widget so i can uh, add multiple widgets in that okay so you can just press alt enter column widget okay and then here I can just make use of cross axis alignment and I will just name it as start. Okay, so now I want to just show a heading over here that is fruits and vegetables. Okay, so I can just make use of container widget for that. So container, something like this and I can just make use of uh, widget, uh, width property and media query dot of context dot size of the screen that is available dot width okay and then i can just uh, give a color to this uh, container widget so color i can just give as blue and child property i can just give a title uh, named fruits so now if i refresh this so you can see you will get this uh, container over here so now i can just give a padding widget so i can just adjust the uh, width of that size and height so padding widget edge inset dot symmetric so i can just give vertical as 10 and horizontal as 20 so hot refresh so let me also increase the text size font size and i will just give 18 okay hot refresh so you can see this one and the list of item will be shown over here okay so it is giving me a warning because it is not getting fitted in this column widget so i want to just wrap this uh, list view in a extendable widget okay so i can just press alt enter and expand it okay so now if i refresh so you can see it is working perfectly fine okay so now let's me divide this down of this i can just give one more property so i can yeah so i can just make use of this widget itself paste it over here and i will just name it as wedge and i will just change this color to some other color let me make use of black okay and let me change the text color to white okay so that it can be visible okay refresh so you can see at the bottom you can see there is a container widget and at the bottom of this uh, vegetable uh, that is container widget i want to show another list view so i can just use this thing okay so instead of uh, uh, copy pasting i will just type it so that you can understand so first of all i will just create a list view and list view dot builder i'm going to make use of because i want to just uh, generate the data as per this data list so over here there is a property called as item count so wedge dot length how much number of data i should generate for this list builder okay and then here we need to return some uh, callback so context and index and then return a widget that is list tell okay as you can see over here so i'm just making use of the same thing okay so list tell so inside list tell i can just give title text widget and inside this text widget i can just show the data from wedge of index something like this so hot refresh 
okay so i'm getting a warning because it is not getting uh, fitted into the screen size that is available so i want to just wrap it with the expandable widget so alt enter expanded refresh so you can see i have just fitted this list of items into two different screen so the user can interact with both the list at once okay yeah so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you